Hey guys, today's video, we're going to be checking out the Funko Pop animation Rick and Morty figure 176. This is Bird Person. If we just go ahead and take the tape measure, putting it next to Bird Person, we'll know that Bird Person is about five inches tall. It seems a running trend that all these figures are coming with display stands, and Bird Person is no exception. It comes with a clear display stand with one peg being very apparently larger than the other for the very specific peg holes on the undersides of his feet. Uh, Bird Person does seem to stand, um, despite the fact that he's got a very large head, but obviously display stands will help you a lot better. So we just peg that into place, and of course, standing him will be absolutely no problem whatsoever. Bird Person is a decent enough looking pop vinyl figure. I find he's a little on the pale side. Now, to be fair though, Bird Person is a relatively pale character anyways, but I find that he's a little pale in his complexion. Um, he has all the cues that one would indicate that is a bird person, of course, from the Rick and Morty cartoon. Uh, he has black eyes, though. Of course, one of the running trends as well is that the pop vinyl figures will have black eyes. Bird person here has black eyes. Very bushy eyebrows and some nice decorative artwork here on the cow portion or the head portion of bird person. These little specks kind of looks like a sesame seed. Kind of looks like a slightly smiling jack-o'-lantern. I mean, we could spend a lot of time, we could spend the next five, 10 minutes just trying to dissect what this could look like. I think it kind of looks like, it looks like a novelty Whopper from Burger King. Maybe they opted to go with the gray Whopper as opposed to the all, I think they did a black Whopper or like a, the angriest Whopper, which was all red. Uh, if you got your bird person wings folded one over the other, so you only get a, a slight trace of the feathers on the one under wing, but you have the main black feathers overlapping that. Uh, a little bit of a black line could have helped just to kind of break up that so it didn't look like one just giant uh, white blob. The figure, though, again, has some nice detailing there in the boots and the hands. A little furry trim around the boots and the hands there as well. Of course, Angry Birds, or Angry Birds, uh, Bird Person's uh, bird, little, uh, bird boobs there. <laughs> bird boobs. Uh, posability on this guy. Let's go ahead and rotate his head. I could probably do this for the next five minutes as well because that's the only articulation that this figure is going to have. Uh, just a couple of size comparisons. We'll bring in... How about we bring in the last one we looked at? There's Squanchy, who, funny enough, is kind of falling... A little squant, a little falling over. I guess that's not quite a comparison of Squanchy. And then we can bring in Weaponize Morty and Weaponize Rick. Here's your four figures so far. The only ones I didn't get, or I wanted to get, just didn't happen to have it at the comic book store, was uh, Snowball and uh, Mr. Meeseeks. I really wanted Mr. Meeseeks. Unfortunately, the store didn't have it. So I spoke with the person that was there, who I'm sure we're now on a name-to-name name -name basis because he's always seeing me in his store. Uh, he's going to see if he can try to order uh, a Mr. Meeseeks. I definitely would like to get Mr. Meeseeks. But uh, yeah, posability-wise, it's very limited. But uh, that's about what you would get for a Funko Pop vinyl figure. Bird Person, I think, looks very faithful to how he looked in the cartoon. Um, about the only thing I would say is that his skin is a little on the pale side. I know generally his skin is pale in the cartoon anyways, but it, it seems like his skin is just slightly off here on the vinyl figure. Everything else basically on him looks quite good. He's got some nice details to him, and he looks like a Funko version of Bird Person in plastic treatment. He probably wouldn't be my favorite from this this wave of figures. I still kind of like Weaponized Rick and Rep Weaponized Morty. And I definitely want to get my hands on Mr. Meeseeks. But this is a nice accompanying piece to the uh, to a collection of these that I could have on my shelf. Today, once again, we are having a look at the Funko Pop animation. This was Rick and Morty's figure 176. And this was Bird Person. If you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe yet to this channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. You won't miss any future videos you thought I was going to say miss a beat you're not going to miss any future videos coming up onto this channel if you also like specifically Rick and Morty there's a playlist designated to everything Rick and Morty everything that I've done uh, up to this up to this point so 
You want to check out some of the other Funko action figures of Rick and Morty, maybe the ray gun, laser gun replica, anything that I've done Rick and Morty, you'll find in that playlist. So go check that out if you haven't had a chance already. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.